All right then, gang, so currently we've only been working inside one single component, and that is the app.svelte component that came along for the ride when we created a new Svelte project. Now, typically a Svelte website would be made up of many different components. For example, a header, a footer, a modal, some content, a sidebar, etc. And those components would all then combine in a tree-like structure to make up the full page content. So at the top, this would be a root component, and that is the component that is directly injected into the DOM by the main.js file. We saw that earlier on in the course. And nested beneath that would be other components such as a header, a content component, a footer component, and inside the content we could nest other components, for example a modal, a sidebar, and others if we wanted to as well. Now the component tree basically dictates how our components are distributed in our resulting HTML page. But why do we even split our code into all of these components? Why don't we just carry on as we have been doing and put everything, all of our code, inside app.svelte instead? Well, there's several reasons, but the main two are, first of all, to keep your code tidy, modular, and readable, because if we put all of the code in one component, then it's gonna get dead messy really quickly. And also, by splitting our code up into components, we make it more reusable. For example, we could create a custom button component and we could place that component in any of the other components wherever we need it. So we're making this button reusable. So now let's have a go at creating our own component, which we're gonna nest inside the root app component right here. Okay then, so what I'd like to do is create a new component for a modal in our project. And a modal is basically like a small little pop-up. So I'm gonna to go to the source folder and create a new file called modal.svelte. All of our components have this .svelte ending. And inside here, remember we have three things inside a component, a script, we also have an HTML template. So let me just create a div and we'll flesh this out later on. And we also can have a style tag as well. So first of all, let's do the HTML right here. So this div is gonna have a class and I'll set that equal to backdrop. And this backdrop is gonna be kind of like a see-through or semi-transparent black backdrop that fades the rest of the website out when the modal is showing. We'll style this later on. Uh, next, I want a div with a class of modal. This will be the actual modal itself, the small pop-up that we see. And then inside that, let's do a little bit of dummy content, just a paragraph, and I'll say sign up for offers. Not a very exciting modal, but nonetheless, this is some basic HTML now that we have inside this modal component. So we have this component right now, but if we go over here and refresh, then it's not actually gonna show anywhere because we've created this component, but it's just floating around in space. It's not really doing anything. What we need to do is then nest this component into our root component app.js over here. And the way we do that is first of all, by importing it at the top. So I'm gonna say import inside the script, this is by the way, and then we want to import dot forward slash because we're in the same directory as app.svelte and that's what this means look in the same directory and then modal dot svelte so that imports this component into this file first of all so now we can use modal and we want to import modal from that now you can call this what you want you can call it foo if you want but it makes no sense i'm going to call it modal because that is what we're creating right here in modal and that's what we've called the components. So I'm gonna save that and then down here, if we want to output the modal, all we need to do is basically use an HTML tag, but it's not really an HTML tag, it's a special tag that outputs a certain component. So we can say modal like so, self-closing, okay? So this then grabs this component, the modal, and it grabs this template and it outputs it in this position in the app.svelte template. So if I save this now, we should see the modal at the top, which we do right here, okay? So that was dead simple, right? All we've done is created a new component and we've fleshed out some HTML template for that component. We've imported it at the top and we've output it right here. This thing right here, this name must match the name right here. So if we call this foo, then this would have to be foo, okay? So it doesn't matter that this name doesn't match 
the file name, this name must just match this tag name where we output it. So if we save it, this still should work and it does. But like I said, I don't like to call my things randomly. I always call my components the same name as the actual file name. So let me save that again and make sure this is still working. Yep, it is. Now, ultimately, we don't always want our modal to show. We only want it to show at certain times. So what I'm going to do is come over here and inside the modal component, I'm going to create a new variable and that variable will be a Boolean and it will dictate if we show the modal or not. So I'll call this show modal and set it equal to true to begin with. And then I'm going to surround all of this stuff right here with an if block. So hash if and I'll say if show modal. So if this is true, it's going to evaluate to true and it's going to show all of this content. We'll close off the block at the end by saying forward slash if and scoot this in. If this is false, then it won't show this stuff right here. So let me save this and we can still see it because it's currently true. But if we change this to false and save it and preview, then we shouldn't see it. So later on, we'll figure out a way of toggling this between true or false so that we can show and hide the modal when we want to. We're also going to start this up a little bit better in the future as well. But we have our basic component created now and we're nesting that inside app.svelte.